Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 47 of Future, and this one is titled Ginny's Quirk. With difficulty, Soshi managed to get Ginny out of the tunnel with Chi still holding tightly to one of her legs. Chi, upon exiting, jumped up and lunged at Soshi, tackling him to the ground as he punched him repeatedly. Chi, no! Ginny yelled, grabbing his shirt and tearing him off Soshi. The scuffle continued with Ginny desperately trying to calm Chi and protect Soshi. You both just need to stop it! She hollered at the top of her lungs, grabbing both Soshi and Chi's hands. Just then, her quirk manifested. Thick glue oozed quickly from her fingers and locked her hand against each of the boys. The glue hardened instantly and they were now completely stuck together. This sudden and strange occurrence stopped the fighting instantly. Soshi still lying on the ground and Chi standing up with Ginny kneeling on one knee between them. All was silent. Then Jenny screamed. What? She wailed. What is this? She tried to pull her hands away from both boys, but it only pulled them into her. Chi crashed down on top of her as she fell backwards onto Soshi. In a panic, she wriggled and yanked her hands, trying to break free from this weird hardened glue. Jenny! Soshi called. Jenny, stop moving. It's okay. Don't be scared. You'll only hurt yourself if you keep moving. Ginny calmed slightly from Soshi's words, turning her head to look into his orange eyes from underneath her. Chi sat up and rolled off her, his hands still clasped in hers, locked solid with glue. Let's go to the teacher, he said frankly, helping to pull Ginny up. Ginny had her left hand and Chi's right hand glued, placing Chi on her left side. Her right hand was connected to Soshi's right hand, unfortunately, so the poor boy had to walk backwards as they made their way back to the classroom. The teacher looked up with amusement when she saw them enter. Hello, children, she said in a friendly manner. What game are you playing? It's not a game, Ginny pouted. We're stuck with glue, she said, wriggling her arms. Oh, I see, the teacher said, thinking the little girl was playing make-believe. And how did this glue get there? From my quirk, Ginny said with gusto. And that's when the teacher took a closer look. Oh, goodness, she exclaimed. Let's get you to the nurse's office. Soshi had remained quiet this whole time. He was so happy to be holding Ginny's hand, he didn't care if they were stuck like this forever. The teacher led all three out of the classroom and down to the nurse's office. Soshi happily walking backwards, while Chi and Ginny walked easily side by side. I'll just call your mummy, Ginny, the teacher said as she ushered the kids into the nurse's room. What have we here, train? The older nurse chuckled. Are you stuck, my lovelies? Yes, nurse, we are. Jenny sighed. It's my quirk, it's like mummy's. Well, congratulations on getting your quirk, my sweet, the nurse said, clapping. We'll get some solvent and get you all unstuck, shall we? Chi and Ginny nodded. Soshi didn't reply. He was still facing the other way. The nurse made up a solvent solution, but it didn't work, so she tried a different mix. It still didn't work. You arrived as soon as you could and made your way quickly to the nurse's office. Ginny, he said brightly, looking at your little girl attached to her two boyfriends. You have the same quirk as mummy, she said excitedly. Yes, I do, Ginny replied with a bright smile. But we have one problem, Mrs. Karishma. None of our solvents have worked, the nurse said, perplexed. Ah, that's why I bought my own, he replied with a smile, pulling a small bottle out of your bag and handing it to the nurse. Ah, wonderful, she replied. This should do the trick. She poured it on and waited a bit. Still nothing happened. Hmm, that's funny, it should have worked by now. You mumbled with your brows knitted. God does answer prayers. Soshi whispered quietly with his eyes wide in wonder. You heard him and smirked. He was obviously praying that the glue wouldn't come off so he could hold Ginny's hand for longer. Another hour passed and still nothing was getting the glue off. Everyone was starting to get worried. Soshi was quietly elated though. I'm just going to call in the Hero Insight. She's here on campus at the moment and she'll be able to tell us all about Ginny's quirk, the nurse said. Insight was a well-known hero who had the ability to be able to learn everything about a person's quirk just by touching them, from their top capabilities to their drawbacks. Everything you needed to know about someone's quirk, she could tell you instantly. Another 15 minutes and she entered the small nurse's office. Hello, beautiful, she said softly to Ginny. Do you mind if I touch your hand? Ginny nodded and Insight placed her hand on Ginny's for a second. Ah, so that's what's going on, she said excitedly. The nurse had debriefed her on the phone, so she was aware of the current situation. 
you have a mix of mummy and daddy's quirk, darling, she said excitedly. Uh, what exactly does that mean? You asked the hero. Your husband is Red Riot, correct? Insight asked you. You nodded. His quirk is Harden, correct? You nodded. Well, your daughter possesses the glue quirk, but like Red Riot, she can switch it on and switch it off, meaning she has her own solvent built in. She can turn the glue soft again and suck it back into her hands. Wow, you said in awe. I can't do that, so that's an upgrade of my quirk then. Correct, Insight replied, turning her head and attention back to Ginny. Sweetheart, I want you to think of happy things for me. Close your eyes and think of things that make you happy. Ginny scrunched her eyes closed and thought hard. That's a girl, Insight cooed. Now think of all those happy things going to your hands. It feels tingly, Ginny whispered. That's okay, that's a good thing, Insight said, watching Ginny's hands. Keep thinking ha happy things, beautiful, she coaxed. Suddenly Ginny felt her hands lighten and she let go of the boy's hands. <gasps> I'm free, she gasped, looking at her hands. And there ends chapter 47. Stay tuned for chapter 48 coming tomorrow.